All right, this is gonna be a quick video. I just want to prove something that I've been using actually. Um, kind of, this is a slick little proof. Before I actually do it though, um, there's kind of a, a famous story behind it. A uh, famous mathematician by the name of uh, Carl Frederick Gauss, which you should all know, because he has his hand in everything in math and science. Allegedly, as far as I can remember, the way the story goes, he was in something like fifth grade and he was bugging the teacher with all his sophisticated questions and she asked him to add up all the numbers from one to a hundred. Now if you've ever tried this, this can be pretty tedious and annoying. Um, so as smart as he was, instead of doing it, he just decided, I'll just come up with a formula that will give me the answer so I won't have to do it the brute force way. So this, as far as I can remember, well, as far as I've heard, this is the, basically what he did. So, uh, to prove this, yeah, I want to prove this, and I used this formula in the previous video um, regarding a bet that George and Paul had. Okay, well, watch the video, and uh, here, here we go. I want to prove that this is true. I want to prove that if I add up uh, the first K, well, the first uh, natural, the first um, consecutive natural numbers, right? If I plug in one, I get one, two, three. If I, if I add all these up, I'm summing them, up to n that I get this closed form formula over here. This is one way to prove this, okay? It's a pretty just nifty little trick, okay? Uh, not too sophisticated, so this is what we have, right? All right, so first, so notice that uh, the sum, uh, this sum from k equals one to n of k is equal to one plus two plus three plus dot, 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 all the way up to n, okay? But on the other hand, on the other hand, I can add these the other way, okay? So also, also, as low, what the hell? Also, can I even spell? Not really. Also, the sum from k equals one to n of k, let's just add these the other way, is equal to n, uh, plus n minus one, right? Plus the next one will be n minus two, etc. Dot 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 plus three plus two plus one. So let's think about this for a second. Uh, how many terms are here? N terms and n terms. Uh, now at this stage. You want to ask yourself, what happens if I add them? I have essentially an equation here. I have equals. The sum equals this. The sum equals this. Let's add them up. Let's add these up. What's the left-hand side? The left-hand side, well, I have this um, summation, and I have two of them. So add this. You can think of it as a like one quantity. Call it x, whatever. Something plus itself is twice that thing, twice that thing, k equals one uh, to n of k. Now what's on the right hand side? If I add up all of these corresponding terms here, one plus n is n plus one. What is two plus n minus one? n plus one. The next one here would be n minus two plus three. Three plus n minus two, n plus one. If I go down here, n to n plus one, they're all n plus one. So what I get here is I get the following. I get uh, n plus one plus n plus one plus they're all n plus one. So what am I doing here? I'm adding n plus one to itself how many times? Well, n times. They're n terms. So n of these n terms. What does that tell me? Well, if I add something to itself n times, then that's equal to n times that thing. So this tells me that 2 times the sum from k equals 1 to n of k, again, if I add something, n plus 1, to itself, n times, that's n times n plus 1. So this is n times n plus 1. Divide by 2, we're done. Ah, hence, hence, we're done. All right? Hence, the sum from k equals 1 to n of k is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. The proof is complete.
just a trick. There are other um, summation formulas uh, like this that involve a similar trick. Maybe I'll do a video about those as well. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Comment a topic I'm going to cover. Like the video. Adios. Oh, Merry Christmas. Almost.